We are in Windows 8 and Windows Server 8 and I'm going to show you how to use the Ease of Access Center to go in and make a change to the narrator. So we're going to go ahead and click on Start Narrator and here's the narrator box. We can click to change how the narrator starts in other standard settings so we can say lock the narrator key so you don't have to press them for each command. You can click Start Narrator Minimized, so it doesn't come up with this box. Uh, by default, you have the echo keyboard strokes while typing, so it will tell you, it will read that to you as you type it. You can also click the Use a Standard Windows Error instead of Voiced Errors, and you can enable visual highlighting of Narrator Cursor. You can retain these notifications for a certain amount of time. 30 seconds is the default. That might be too long for most people. I would suggest 5 or 10 seconds and then you can click Save Changes. For navigation, you can choose a lot of different options. Read and interact with the screen using the mouse. You can use the numeric keypad also. Enable the narrator cursor to follow your mouse cursor. So it tells you which direction you're going. You can read and interact with the screen using touch. If you've got a uh, touch screen, which this computer is not, you can enable fast movement with navigation commands as well. Again, under touch, you can enable the narrator cursor to follow the keyboard focus, wherever that is. Select the narrator cursor movement mode. So by default, it's flow. You could also choose advanced. And when we're done, we can go ahead and click to save the changes there. Under voice, we can have it speak slowly or quickly. We can select the volume of the voice to be quiet or loud. By default, it's loud. This is separate from the volume that you have set on the key on the computer. You can select the pitch of the voice to be higher or lower. Higher would be more like a female voice, lower more like a man's voice. So you can select a different voice for the narrator. You've got a few different ones to choose from. Hazel is the English uh, accent, the Great Britain accent. The others are American. And again, we can save changes there. We have other commands we can do where we can click Exit Narrator, for instance, by Windows plus Alt plus Escape. So if we hit the Windows key plus the Alt key and the Escape key, we can exit the program. So every one of these different options are all key commands that you would hold down in order to make a change. And if you need to, you can also use the on-screen keyboard as well. And when done, you can exit, and the narrator will begin.